Welcome everyone, I am Hector and I am just honored to have you all here gathered once again because we are going to watch and talk about all the candidates of Miss Universe Philippines 2024 during the press presentation. So the ladies had the opportunity to walk the stage while a video of the regions played in the background. So it was pretty interesting. Of course, I have to say thank you to every one of you who has been supportive and nice and kind. Thank you so much. Even though some bad comments, there was a comment that said that I was trying to copy Luis Porteles. And let me tell you, that's not the case. Luis is a great friend of mine and we respect each other. Kudos to Luis and I hope to make a life with him very soon. I have been talking about these ladies before the competition, but this is the first presentation with all of them in the group. So this is the opportunity that they have to impress us to impress the national community and the international community of beauty pageants. So I'm gonna put my glasses on and here we receive Miss Albay. I love this style but let's be honest, this pretty style is not the style that is always standing out because it's something that is good but it's not great, you know, and great divorce cute. Also, I think that she needs more confidence in her steps. Oop. Angelis Angels She has the perfect style I have to admit that I don't like the contact lens It seems fake It's not her natural gaze And I want to see her natural eyes You know, her beautiful eyes She doesn't need anything like that to stand out though Girl, more confidence in your face Australia I guess that this is the Filipino community in Australia being represented by this candidate I love her because she looks like a Miss USA contestant in her hair, her beauty, like everything about her looks professional and that's what I want to see professional girls doing it great because you know if you win you're going to Miss Universe so there's no space for mistakes but colored I am not fan of this dress and also she's wearing contact lanes girl just relax she's posing too much it's a press presentation just give us a beautiful smile because you're beautiful these ladies need more confidence in themselves, honestly. She's already beautiful, she doesn't need to do too much. Bakur, she has been someone that people talk a lot about her, people is commenting, people like her. And right now I see a candidate that is doing good, but I mean, we have great candidates and we're gonna see great candidates for the competition, for the this event. I think that she could have done better, honestly. Baguio. I love a girl when she's committed, when she's just working every second of that catwalk and let me tell you, I love your eyebrows. Whoever who did her makeup really needs a reward because <laughs> she looks amazing and she did it great. I love Baguio here. Bantayan Island. I would like to say that she looks elegant but she looks antiquated for me. Batangas. I love her face, she has this commercial beauty and she can appear on the television doing ads and this stuff. I see a bright future for her. I, I like her, okay? So I'm gonna put my eye on her in the next events. I didn't know about her existence, but right now, I like. I really like her. Bohol, she's portraying this elegant side of her because it's important to cause a great impression and I think that she's looking great. I love that blue. It gives me Pia Wurzbach vibes. Bucket Nun. She preferred the simple style. She looks like she's going to a party, but she's not the protagonist of the night. Bulacan. Oh, what do we have here? Uh huh. I, let me tell you, I like the color. I like her style. I hate those shoes. Oh, God. Those shoes are visually horrible. Girl, why, why are you on those shoes? Like, you are pretty, you are great. <laughs> the, I mean, the style is amazing, but the shoes... Uh, everything is perfect on her. I'm, I'm, going, I'm going to ignore the shoes. <laughs> Kawanatuan is wearing some snakes in her ears. Probably she's a Taylor Swift fan. I think she's very well produced, like we say in Venezuela. She's very well done, like her makeup styling the dress it's different i think that she took the risk and she deserves to be recognized for that cagayan de oro for some reason i love to say that cagayan de oro <laughs> 
I like how she is projecting herself with her eyes because she knows how to work her body, her face. She is working it. I kind of confuse a little bit Baggio with Kainta. Their faces for me are like kind of the same beauty, but I think that Kainta in this presentation stands out because she's just raising that eyebrow until here and that's <laughs> that's some really good quality and that needs practice. I can see that she has been practicing and she stands out. When I first saw her I thought that she was like this cute lady but she's this cute lady with that edgy essence. Kamigui. I would like to see this girl without makeup because I know that she's a pretty natural beauty and a fresh style will look perfect on her. I don't like the way that they did her face. It's like too much makeup. Kavite looks stiff for me. She's like frightening. But that smile is beautiful. So girl, never stop smiling because your smile is one of the most beautiful smiles that I've ever seen in this competition of Miss Universe Philippines. And that's a great asset. Look at Miss Cebu. She's wearing this princess style, this creamy color. I mean, she has experience. She's 34 years old, so obviously she knows how to handle this competition. Davao City. She's a nice candidate, but she needs more preparation, especially in her catwalk. Davao del Sur. She looks very modelesque, but I would say that she looks older than the other girls, but I liked her dress with the painting. It's really comfortable to see. Florida! <laughs> this is really interesting because right now I'm in Florida, so girl, I am rooting for you. <laughs> she has the tropical style, but I don't see the beauty queen style that we are used to see. Hawaii! I love this dress, and she knows that she looks amazing. Iloilo City! The fan favorite. I'm really nervous about her because the fan favorite never wins. Ah, it happened with Krishna Gavrides the last year, but hey, let me tell you, I love what she's wearing because it's different. I almost can't understand what she's wearing, but she's beautiful and she's working that beauty queen side of her. I can see a winner. I want her to win. Please, Philippines, crown her. Crown her already. <laughs> Kananga. I love her as a candidate. I hate that dress. And I like her catwalk. Laguna. I didn't see her before, but right now I am like almost falling in love with her because look at those eyes. Probably are contact lens, but it looks really good on her. She has these features of an Asian princess. She has to go to Disney so she can make a live action movie. Leite. That accessory in her hair makes her look like a teenage candidate instead of a Miss Universe Philippines candidate. But I am going to recognize that I love her catwalk. She knows how to do her pasarela. Look, Bang. She's projecting confidence because it's not an easy thing to do in those heels and she's, <laughs> she's doing it. So let's applaud her. Mandawe. She is giving this natural and mature look and she looks like someone that can go to a pageant and obviously she's gonna stand out and she's not letting the competition intimidate her Manila she's kind of boring in this presentation I feel like she doesn't want to be there but probably she has some kind of problem going on so maybe is that the reason why she's acting like she's kind of annoyed Maribelis I think that she's giving me a vibe of a Miss Grand Thailand candidate Miami I want to see the fire. Miss Nike. I gotta say, she's one of the best looking candidates and one of the most correct ones. I cannot see any mistake. I cannot say that she's doing something wrong. Watch out for her. Northern California. I don't know about you, but I think that she's really sexy with her face. She's projecting like, you know, I'm the winner here. Just get out of the way <laughs> vibe. I love when a girl is just being herself and feeling herself in the stage because beauty pageants are all about confidence. Nueva Ecija. Those heels. God, I cannot stand those heels. Occidental Mindoro. I can see when a girl is rehearsed and she's doing good, but in this kind of rehearse that she did, didn't work out very well. Pagadian City. 
She has to watch videos of Katrina Gray catwalk, of Pia Wurzbach catwalk, of Rachel Peters catwalk, and learn and take that Filipina flavor. Palawan. I see her working more as a model than a beauty queen. There's something very simple but yet elegant that I like. Pampanga, exotic face. That makes me feel interested about her, but she had to stop more in the front of the stage because she was like kind of fast that it, I couldn't appreciate her completely. But I like her, okay? I want to see more about her. Pangasinan, it's one of those candidates when you say, okay, she's good, but what else? What else is interesting? I don't see something that is really captivating. Pasig, hmm, she's a little bit insecure. That's what I see on her. Quezon City, that's our girl, she's gonna do it, she's gonna give us everything, she's giving us everything. I saw her regional competition and she was the best, she's like really tall. She has this exotic beauty that I want to see crowned as Miss Universe Philippines. We want to see something different. And you know that what is different, what is unique, what is interesting is selling it right now in the international stage. During this presentation, she did it as I expected. Great. Quezon Province. We all know this candidate. She kind of has an advantage because she participated in Miss International. She already represented the Philippines. And I mean, she's coming from the Binibini Filipinas work team. And you can see in the way that she's working it how she doesn't need to do like something exaggerated to stand out. She's Oof, she's giving us everything. I love her hair, this outfit. It's pleasing to see a candidate that is very well prepared like her. The other lady should know that she is the competition. <laughs> Quirino needs more practice. San Pablo, Laguna. I didn't like her catwalk because this dress translates in beautiful, in delicate, regal, and that catwalk is like a swimsuit catwalk. Si Argao. There are some candidates that have like the same prototype, but they are not memorable and I think that she belongs to that group. Southern California. She's giving us this soft presentation and I like that. Sydney, Australia. I think that they are very inclusive in this competition of Miss Universe Philippines because we are seeing representatives from everywhere. I want to see the Venezuelan candidate, but the Sydney candidate looks like a very innocent girl. Give us that fire that we're expecting to see. That Loban is giving us folklore with this dress, but I don't see something that is standing out with her. Miss the Geek. I love this outfit because she looks like she's going to an interview with the judges and she's gonna prove the judges that she deserves to be the winner or at least in that top three. But I hated those twirls. This is not Miss Grant International and I mean she's one of the experienced candidates. I'm surprised that she did this <laughs> honestly because she was doing very well but those twirls are like mm -mm, please don't. Talisai City. She's one of the shortest candidates, but also she's one of the most angelic beauty candidates. Toledo City. She was kind of lost in the catwalk, like looking <laughs> at the sides. Tugegarao. I want to try that food that's in the background. <laughs> United Kingdom. She's really special in her beauty because she looks like this European and Asian mix. This is really beautiful. I like her. I really like her. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. Virginia, she was mad with someone because she was like... <laughs> Washington, I adore this look. I adore her face, her hair, everything. I will give her 9 out of 10. Zambales, Anita Rose. I like how Anita Rose is looking right now. The energy that she is projecting after seeing a lot of candidates is the energy that a candidate should have. It's something that it really makes me fall in love with her. The way that she's looking to the camera and that fresh beauty. Ladies and gentlemen, those were the candidates of Miss Universe Philippines 2024 in their first event. So obviously, since this moment, some candidates are going up on the list of favorite and some candidates are going down. Miss Quezon Provis outshined everyone else.
today. So watch out for this girl because she's coming for the crown. Athisa Manalo knows how to stand out. She has represented the Philippines, she almost won the international crown and right now she is just saying, you know, I need my crown, I already need it. <laughs> I really need it, so give it to me. Today she was the best for me. I want to know who was the best for you. Share your favorite in the comments. I invite you to subscribe to the channel and if you want to collaborate with my job, I would be really grateful. You can do it by clicking the super thanks button that is below the video. Thank you everyone for sharing this moment with me. May God bless you.